you, Mark, for all the strange and wonderful and weird things you've said about our sector, but you have described our sector as the greatest, newest British export, and isn't that true? Because a lot of countries look at Britain and say, you're doing really well at this. And of course, we know how many people, billions of people, rely on the work that you all do. That's fantastic. charity leaders who fail to stand up for their fundraisers when the media take their swipes as cowards running for the hills with their petticoats showing. <laughs> I like that very much. But my absolute favourite is over the row about chief executives and senior fundraisers' pay, um, thinking that we should all do it for pin money because we're just in it for the love. We're in it for the love, but we can't do it for pin money. But Mark says, the chief executive of Next gets 1.5 million and I have more shots than he has. <laughs> Frequently the most influential fundraiser in the business and always in the top ten and never without a word to say. He is the face, not the hair, but he is the face of fundraiser. <laughs> He's a terrific person, a terrific friend to many of us in this room. I've known him for years. He's a great colleague, a great friend. And if I can divert from all those V's of vitality and, and verve, he's also a terrific leader. And he's got dynamism. And we will miss him from where he is now, but we will never miss Mark, because he is part of our family. And he will never leave us. He will always be an iconic fundraiser. Mark, could you come up here now, please?